Hi everybody, welcome to this tutorial. Today I would like to show you how you can create a synth um, that plays waveforms that you imported. So here we are in uh, my rack. So first thing first, let's click add, select the tags and um, let's insert a mixer, a channel mixer, click add to patch. Let's connect the output of the mixer to the audio output. And let's increase the mix level. And let's raise up the uh, level of a number of channel. Okay. Next, let's add a clock. An impromptu clocked module would do. Okay, next let's add plus sign again. Let's select a sampler and let's select the sample player multi head. Add to batch. Here we are. Um, let's move these um, up here. Next, let's uh, select uh, a sequencer, what we used before, a phrase sequencer 16. Let's click Add to Patch. And um, it's probably somewhere here. Here we go. Let's move these way okay now, next let's disable all the five heads on this player and let's keep only one active let's double click on uh, the sampler module let's open a wave or af file let's um, go up inside the imported folder and let's select a sample which i already imported in this case a base Okay, next, let's uh, um, connect um, the output of the sampler into the mixer. And uh, we can hear now uh, the bass sound being played. Okay, let's pause that. Great. Next, let's connect the clock module to the phrase sequencer. So uh, let's connect the reset button, which might be handy. Not we don't need necessarily to do that uh, for these purposes, but could keep uh, best practice on. Uh, let's connect the run as well line and then the clock one of the clock module inside the clock input the phrase sequencer then what we are going to do is to take the uh, cv output of that sequencer go inside the cv line like this and we do the same for the gate and we go uh, we use the gate to actually play the sample as you can hear uh, the sequencer is actually playing and uh, is triggering um, the sequencer, uh, the sampler, um, which is playing that wave sample. Okay, so um, next what we're going to do is to create a little bit of a pattern. So um, let's keep the volume down. We need to have this active to do that. So let's select the uh, first step um, that uh, let's lower an octave, select the C, the second step, select the D and lower an octave. And we keep it going like this and E and then an F 
and um, actually let's test it. Okay, I clicked on the run so that stopped. Um, so let's um, now um, um, insert another one just to uh, show you how another one you can drive another one. So let's click on the plus sign again and let's add. Uh, Another phrase sequencer. Here we are. Then let's add an un another sample player. Add the patch and then let's connect them. So um, let's take the clock first. That and let's connect. Um, the uh, run and also the reset right then let's connect that um, um, <coughs> CD there and also the gate so on the plane let's um, the uh, deactivate all the other heads let's double click on the module let's open a WAV file in this case the second one which is a string type of sound next let's connect the audio Okay, let's try.
So um, in this case, you have seen how we can uh, um, drive the sampler um, to play waveforms um, triggered by the phrase sequencer, um, which uh, um, for this quite um, useful. I hope you enjoyed uh, this tutorial and um, have fun. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.